Okay, so guys, please follow my steps. Step number one: open your run by Windows plus R. You need to type percentage time percentage. Hit OK. Now go to your app data, local, right by daylight, saved, config, Windows no editor. You need to come over here, guys. Now we need to open game user settings. So basically these are your game settings which you can change from here. Anything you want. Now you need to turn the foilage quality to 1. Leave everything as default. Do not change any other things. Now we need to find V signs. Which is basically true. Do it false. And that's it guys. Do not change any other things. Just save this file. Okay, so let's move to step number two. Okay, now you need to go to your control panel. Find power options. Now you see high performance, select this. After changing this to high performance, you will see your processor speed at the maximum speed, which basically is a good option to use it for your games. Whenever you play games, just do this and that's it. Let's move to step number 3. Okay, so this is really important. It depends on your graphics card, which graphics card you're using, AMG or NVIDIA. If you're using NVIDIA, just go to NVIDIA control panel. Now, you need to go manage 3D settings over here. Go to program settings. Just wait. So you see that by daylight over here because I already selected it before but if you do not see in this list over here you can select from here edge and you will find that by daylight over here just select this okay after selecting this just go to the list in bottom you will see virtual reality pre-rendered frames select it to 1 Many people use 3 or 4 because they have good graphics card but for you just use 1 for increasing your FPS in your games. You can change more settings in the list like texture, filtering quality to performance if you want but I don't think it's necessary to do it. Everything depends on your computer and graphics card. I only recommend you use the virtual reality pre-render frames to 1 and that's it guys. Once you have done editing, just close and make sure to save. Changes to yes and that's it. Okay, so step number 4. You need to change your resolution, your screen resolution. Just right click and go to display settings. So this is your resolution over here. If you are using 1080p, just decrease to 900 or 720p because the lower the resolution, the higher frame rates you get in the games. I'm going to select 900. After selecting 900, you will see difference in your skin resolution. But only do this when you want to play games. Just decrease your resolution before playing games and that's it. Once all steps are done, now open your Dead by Daylight from Steam. Okay, so we are in game and as you can see the lag is gone, the jerks are gone. It's really smooth and I'm getting 60 FPS right now. I didn't even change anything from the game options. I'm using the same settings medium with 100% resolution. 
but if you still get low FPS you can change it to low and you will feel the difference you can also use medium settings and decrease your resolution from here it will improve your FPS okay guys that's it for the today this video is over if you found this video helpful please like this video please share this video with your friends please subscribe the channel I really need support and I'm also doing a giveaway this week so stay tuned to the channel and I'll see you in my next take care and I love you guys